We all know the fastest growing population of homelessness are seniors. Sadly, uh, seniors are retiring on fixed incomes and later getting caught having inflation pass them by. In 1978, Prop 13 was overwhelmingly passed by California voters because it froze how quickly taxes could increase on your home. Prior to 1978, many seniors lost their homes because their taxes increased exponentially on them. And we wanted to stabilize that so people could plan for their future. So Prop 13 was passed. Today, we know that San Diego is one of the most expensive markets in the nation to live that our average housing price is near or over a, a $1 million, which means that if 20 years ago you bought your house for a quarter million dollars, it would, without Prop 13, be assessed at that million dollars. And for many seniors, it would force them into our streets, not being able to afford their tax. At the same time, our state has been very blessed uh, Prop 13 does allow for tax increases to go along incrementally over the years. And we saw our state budget at $117 billion in 2011. And just a short 10 years later, our state budget in 2022 was over $300 billion, almost triple. So we have incredible revenue coming to the state and we don't need to make seniors homeless along the way. 91% of San Diego property owners, people that own homes, mobile homes, if they own condo, a townhouse, anything, are benefiting for Prop 13. And today we're very fortunate because uh, Jordan Marks, our assessor, recorder, and county clerk, quite a mouthful, he and his staff have made significant contributions to enhance the lives of our seniors and veterans uh, as our local Prop 13 advocate. I'd like to present this proclamation uh, to our uh, county assessor, <laughs> county clerk and recorder uh, for his efforts in recognizing Prop 13 uh, in the great work that you're doing on, on Prop 13's behalf. And what it says is today is Prop 13 day in San Diego County. So I'd like to present that to you. And I wanna thank you and your staff for all your incredible work. You know, my colleagues and I are working very hard to keep seniors off the streets and in their homes. And this is one of the many valuable tools that they're allowing us to accomplish that goal. So thank you for your hard work. Thank you, Supervisor Anderson. Uh, pleasure to be here, Madam Chair, Supervisors. Our wonderful CAO, Helen Robbins-Meyer, our Assistant CAO, Michael Vu, and my favorite CFO, Ebony Shelton. Uh, these are the folks that support us in our hard work. But uh, the wonderful work of this county staff is actually done by many of the folks behind me. So I'd like to introduce my team, my Chief of Staff, Tim Bonkowski, Chief Deputy Assessor, Jeff Olson, our wonderful analysts, Al uh, Axel Cortez, Andrew Espiritu, and my division chiefs, Omar Castellanos, Claudia Urbano, Robert Gomez, Leanna Kirby, Robert Vaughn, Shannon Thurber, Albert Tapia, and our wonderful person, Bobby, taking photos. Good things happen in this county because of an amazing team. And these are the folks that administer Prop 13. And I really wanna thank Supervisor Anderson for this opportunity to celebrate the hard work of my team today. Uh, we have hardworking professional staff, our wonderful members of our SCIU 221, our technical staff that happily administer Prop 13. Under Prop 13 this last year, with over a million parcels, we're the second largest county in the state for parcel count, and we're third largest for revenue. Last year, we brought in $727 billion of assessed value. That's a 7% increase, uh, and that's the 11th straight year of record high revenue for this county because of these wonderful administrators. At the same time, they delivered record high savings for our taxpayers of over 275 million, while as Supervisor Anderson recognized, 91% of our property owners were protected with that 2% cap that Prop 13 put in, making sure that their property ownership was affordable. Better than me saying it, we actually brought uh, folks from each 
uh, district uh, district to tell their story. Uh, unfortunately, Madam Chair, our representative from District 1, uh, one of our staff members, Carlos Argadana, couldn't be here because he's working and it's great and we appreciate it. But he wanted me to express as a single father, uh, as a property owner, his property when he purchased it has more than doubled. And while his salary here at the county hasn't more than doubled, it's Prop 13 that has allowed him to keep his home ownership for him and his family, keeping it affordable because he can predict what his taxes are gonna be and he can budget for it. But uh, I would like to introduce uh, from District 2, Supervisor Anderson from your district, our Chief Deputy Assessor, Jeff Olson, to talk about Prop 13 and what it means to him and his family. Thank you, Assessor Marks, Supervisor uh, Anderson, uh, and the esteemed board members, good morning. My name is Jeff Olson, and I'm the Chief Deputy Assessor for San Diego County. I come to you today to thank the Board of Supervisors for their support of Proposition 13 and for taking a public stance in favor of home affordability. 34 years ago, I began my career at the Assessor's Office, and I've seen firsthand the benefits that Proposition 13 protections provide. I was able to buy my first home and successfully budget for my property taxes. But I can also attest, as Supervisor Anderson stated, tell you about my 94-year-old father-in-law that's on a fixed income and would not be able to stay in his home based on the increases in property taxes prior to the passage of Proposition 13. At the same time as Thinking about our seniors, I'm also very concerned about our children and wondering if they'll ever be able to afford the American dream. I fear without Proposition 13 protections, my daughter, who's a lab tech at Sharp Grossmont Hospital, and my son, who works for the US Army, might never achieve home ownership. I'd like to thank the Board of Supervisors again, those folks in the gallery, on behalf of myself, my family, and the million property owners in San Diego County, thank you for protecting Proposition 13. Yeah. I know Jeff looks like he's 16, but he actually started as a typist here at the county 33 years ago and worked his way up. And so uh, I want to appreciate him. From uh, uh, District 3, we have from Pacific Beach, Greg DeNorris, uh, local community college professor. Thank you, Mr. Marks. Uh, Supervisor Anderson really summed it up. Uh, Greg DeNorris, Pacific Excuse Beach. Me. Excuse me. I am a, a minute, um, sir. Sir, give me a minute. I'm just going to ask for all those folks that are in the gallery. Can you please be respectful of all the speakers? Go ahead, sir. Madam Chair, uh, Greg DeNorris, uh, Pacific Beach, uh, community college professor, uh, past president of the PB Town Council, past board member of the PB Planning Group, which means I know a lot of people in the district who really rely on Proposition 13 to keep their homes, not just senior citizens, but many people. There's a lot of homeowners who have been in their homes 15 and 20 years, such as myself, and it's really important to protect that um, uh, proposition. And I really ask for the Board of Supervisors to support Prop 13 and, and the resolution. Thank you. Now, from the 4th District, I actually uh, speak on behalf of myself and my family. Uh, in 2014, uh, my wife and I scrimped and saved 2013, and we bought a home in January 2014. Uh, as you know, housing average prices were closer to four or 500,000 then. Now they're at a million. And so as we uh, bought a modest two-bedroom, one-bath bungalow as our move-up house we were expecting, uh, we've seen, seen the move market move away from us. But one of the shining stars that's kept us in our home, as we've had our, our we have a son now, we're facing childcare costs, uh, our electric costs and water costs are going up. Our property taxes are something that we put in our family budget every year because we know what it's gonna be. And so I just wanna recognize as a, I live in blue collar Rolando by San Diego State, uh, you know, my neighbors and I, I gotta tell you, Prop 13, maybe it's because I'm the assessor they wanna talk to me about it, but I will say that uh, it is something that has been a shining star for all of us that achieved home ownership between 2013 and 2019. Because after that, and we saw the pandemic, housing prices have increased 40, 
for those folks in the last three years, but for many of us, it's more than doubled. And so uh, finally, uh, I'd like to welcome up Frank and Mary Lopez from the 5th District. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to all the supervisors. Um, I just, oh, thank you. My husband and I um, purchased our first property, which was our home in 1972. I hate to tell you, we paid 38.5 for it then, which was wonderful. Because of Prop 13, we were able to um, purchase other properties as well, but the main thing was planned for our future. And because of that, we've been able to, um, to plan our retirement. And, but I'd also like to thank Jordan Marks and the Board of Supervisors for working so diligently in helping us to keep Prop 13. And we're now able to enjoy our retirement, not have to worry about those terrible, outrageous taxes. And because of that, we've been able to enjoy, we'll be able to enjoy our retirement. But I'd also like to say in Spanish, if you don't mind, and my Spanish is not always the best, but mi esposo y yo compramos nuestra casa en 1990, I'm sorry, 1972. En gracias por la profesión de 13, pudimos um, planear nuestra jubilación. Nos gustará agradecer Jordan Marks y la Junta de Supervisores por trabajar tanto por mantener profesión 13. Ahora podemos disfrutar nuestra jubilación sin la carga de los impuestos de la propiedad. Muchísimas gracias a Jordan por todo su trabajo. Gracias. Thank you. If, if I could just take a final opportunity to say thank you. In my uh, years as the taxpayer advocate and the assessor, our office fields uh, thousands of calls a day. Many of them are from seniors asking, am I Prop 13, am I protected? Um, but actually, um, this last year, we've seen a shift in our phone calls to say, not do I have Prop 13, but what else can I do to save on my property taxes because I can't afford my property taxes. So uh, I get pride in being able to say that the Board of Supervisors passed policies, the $500 assistance, to help our seniors on the edge and other folks to help them and keep them in their homes so that way we don't have a growing senior homeless population. So thank you, Board of Supervisors, for that. Again, a round of applause for my amazing team that administers Prop 13. Thank you so much for all that you do.